Hi, I'm Carol Sunday, and today we'll be grafting the two sides of our Paco Bell shawl together. As we do this graft, we'll be talking about inserting our needle into the front of a stitch, which refers to its knit side on the front of the fabric, or into the back of the stitch, which is its purl side on the wrong side of the fabric. And we'll use those same terms equally on uh, both sides of our graft. The knit side is the front of the stitch, the front of the fabric. The back side is the purl side on the wrong side of the fabric. So we start with our two sides facing up and head to head. We'll call this side one with the long tail, which we've threaded. And that side two. And we'll start with a couple of preliminary stitches, beginning with side one. We'll insert our tapestry needle into the back, the purl side of the first stitch, leaving the stitch on the needle rather loosely. And then to side two, we'll insert our needle into the back of the first stitch, then into the back of the second stitch, removing them both from the needle, and draw the yarn through. Now we'll start our first rep, beginning on side one. Insert our tapestry needle into the front of the first stitch, remove it, into the back of the second stitch, and remove it. Draw the yarn through. Side two, into the front of the first stitch, and off the back of the second stitch, leave it on the needle, and draw the yarn through. Side one, insert the needle into the front of the first stitch, remove it, the front of the second stitch, remove it, the back of the next stitch, leaving it on the needle. And side two, insert into the front of the first stitch, the back of the second stitch, the back of the third stitch, removing them all from the needle. And that's the end of our first rep. We'll do it all over again on side one, front and back and off. Draw through. Side two, front and back. Leave on. Side one, front and front and back. Leave on, front and back and back and remove them all. And that's our rep. We'll do it all the way across the shawl until we're finished grafting. So now that we're finished grafting, we can adjust our grafted stitches, starting at the end and using the needle to just draw those through and draw them through and draw them through so that they all appear to be the same tension as the stitches in the other rows, like so.